measurement will have to indicate movements in the various forms of uh, capital. The crux is how the reporting can bring in the fact that the business model is creating value to all the stakeholders and not only to those who are seeing the profit and loss account and balance sheet. This is where the reporting space is moving in and we all have a major role to play. Let me come to the end of my presentation as the signal has come already. Safa is doing a wonderful job previous slide. Safa is doing a wonderful job for the last three years. We have been repeatedly in a sustainable way focused on sustainable development. We started with the first Safa summit focused in sustainable development of the region in Kathmandu. All the member bodies including myself and uh, the CA Institute as well as the Nepal as well as CA Institute of India, everyone we signed a Kathmandu declaration by member bodies giving commitment to competency development on sustainable. That means all the members of the member bodies will gain on competency on sustainability. We are committed to that. The strategy matrix which has been prepared by the SAFA board this year incorporate this as an important strategy theme. And to prove this, SAFA is now entering into an MRI, an MOU with the Global Reporting Initiative GRI organization by which GRI is going to support all the member bodies for imparting training and assessment on sustainability capability for all the members who are willing to undergo that training and very off late the SAFA has started stakeholder discussions along with IARC. In this month and we have got three meetings in Bangladesh, Colombo and uh, one meeting scheduled in Delhi with one IARC member as to what are all the difficulties in the in the discussion paper on the integrated reporting implementation and what practical problems are going to be there in this particular uh, six model measurement. So these are all some of the very important uh, sustained sustainability support activities of SAFA. I am sure that with this sort of initiatives which ICAP and ICMAP are taking, they will escalate it further and uh, Rafi Saab is such a dynamic leader backed by both ICAP and ICMAP. There are wonderful days ahead and inshallah I would be given, given all the opportunity to support them in this journey. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you very much, Raman Saab. A very thought-provoking uh, sharing of uh, views uh, and uh, your good remarks about the institutes and very useful comments which you have given and suggestions given to Mr. Rafi for the next round. Now we would move on to uh, our uh, next round, which is the announcement of the sector-wise uh, corporate report awards. To carry on the proceedings, I just need one second. I brought this sustainable reports of uh, two organizations to outstanding reports to be given to the evaluating committee chairman as maybe one of to be used as one of the benchmark in evaluating the future uh, applications on sustainability. Thank you. Thank you. I would now request Mr. Farid Alam, my colleague, to come please uh, on the stage and uh, announce the sector-wise results of our award. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Thank you, Fahim. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you all. I am Muhammad Farid Alam, a fellow member of the Institute of Chartered Accountant of Pakistan, Chief Executive Officer at ATKD Securities, and a member of the Evaluation Committee of the Best Corporate Report Awards. My job here will be to take you to the, uh, I mean the two uh, reports, uh, the two awards that we wanted to give. So I'll try to go, uh, take the program towards the Corporate Report Award now. I'll be announcing the awards for chemical and fertilizer, fuel and energy, engineering and miscellaneous sectors, while my colleague Shahida Khan will take over and announce the awards for textile and financial sectors. And so finally you will be seeing somebody without beard announcing some awards and coming on the stage. As you all know, to maintain an element of suspense and excitement, uh, ranking the number one, number two is not disclosed 
closed, although the, the people here they know that they have been shortlisted, and that is one of the reasons why people are here. Uh, they, but they don't know their positioning. So uh, the stage is already set, so don't, I don't have to say a few words about it. But I understand that uh, it's about time, and you have been anxiously waiting uh, for the announcements. Uh, my first sector is chemical and fertilizer, and uh, as you have already uh, seen, Mr. Shweb of Fauji Fertilizer Company uh, taking away the award for the overall first position, so it's no-brainer that in the sector, the award has gone to Fauji Fertilizer Company, and I request Mr. Mohammad Shweb, GM Finance, to come forward and receive the award. Draw the trophy. Fauji has created a benchmark and they live on the name. Uh, Shweb Sab, you uh, plan to say a few words again? Uh, thank you, please. Thank you very much once again for giving me the sector wise uh, first award. This award is uh, not only uh, the endeavors of one function of the company, it's, a func it's uh, the endeavors and efforts of so many departments of the company from uh, HR to procurement, from other functions, uh, the HR, in, apart from that, the shared the share, share department, and so many other functions, the secretary. And with regard to the sustainability, uh, we have, one with the other way, we have some sort of contribution towards the sustainability, but it's not, that's in the piece and, bits and pieces. And from next year, from the next uh, such gathering, I, inshallah, I will be competing for that as well. My company will be competing for that. Huh? Thank you very much once again for that. I didn't really notice any thunder in the claps as perhaps uh, the audience here are not the investors of the 4G fertilizer company which has done tremendously well over the stock exchange as well. Uh, now the second award goes to Angro Polymer and Chemicals Limited, and to receive the award, I request Mr. Ashaduddin Ahmed, the CFO and the company secretary, to come forward and receive the award, please. Ladies and gentlemen, the third award of the chemical and fertilizer sector goes to Sinofi Eventus Pakistan Limited. And I request Mr. Tariq Wajid, CEO of the company, to please come forward and receive the award from the chief guest. Okay, sorry. Fourth award in this category goes to Abbott Laboratories Pakistan Limited. And I request Sayyid Anis Ahmed, Finance Director, to please receive the award. The fifth and last award in this category goes to ICI Pakistan Limited. Um, Mr. Rizvi was supposed to be here, but uh, I think he is not around. So may I request anybody representing ICI Pakistan to please come forward and receive the award. Ma'am, oh, please. The next category is engineering, and like my colleague Fahim has told that instead of uh, announcing the awards, the descending orders, we will be again announcing in the, in the top position first. And the first award goes to Siemens Pakistan Engineering Company.